Hello, Android friends. Welcome back to another episode of The Mandroid Show. I didn't make it all crazy that time, did I? Stop it, future me that's gonna edit this. Anyways, guys, thanks for coming back. This is the second episode of The Mandroid Show. Bringing you Android news of the week, brought to you by AndroidSpin.com. Let's talk about Android news of the week. All right, last week we were teased like crazy about the Nexus Prime phone and the Ice Cream Sandwich OS. And we were told last week by Samsung and Google that it was gonna be postponed to a different day. And now that day is confirmed. Looks like the unveiling is gonna happen on October 19th at 10 a.m. in Hong Kong. What? Yeah, Hong Kong. So 10 a.m. Hong Kong time is about 10 p.m. Eastern time, 7 p.m. Pacific. Yeah, folks, it's not gonna be in the States, it's gonna be in Hong Kong. I don't know, we're all upset about it. But we can still watch it live streaming on YouTube. Go to the Android channel on YouTube, bookmark it, watch it. I'm gonna watch it. It's pretty exciting. But I guess the phone's not gonna be called the Nexus Prime anymore, it's just gonna be called Galaxy Nexus. Yeah, it works, I guess. All right, keeping things ice cream sandwich-like. Since Google and Samsung keep teasing us with all this news, let's try to make your device as ice cream sandwich as possible. How about the analog clock? The Google Music. The Google Plus app. The boot animation. The market app. ICS wallpapers and ringtones. So yeah, you're pretty much halfway there. <laughs> Who needs ice cream sandwich on their phone? We could just have all those applic- Okay, we really need that on our phone. We're begging for it. Seriously, guys, hurry up with that. We would love ya. Some more news on the Ice Cream Sandwich OS. Please stay tuned. <laughs> Ever wanted to play your Android games and apps on your PC? Well, guess what? We're pretty much there. Bluestacks has created an app player for your Windows 7 PC. Yeah, that's right. You have to have Windows 7 in order to have this. You have Vista, XP, Upgrade! So this app player, you can utilize your apps and play your games on your PC. So now you can try to destroy those piggies with those angry birds on your beautiful monitor. Oh, those angry birds. <laughs> now this is just an alpha build, so everything's not gonna work perfectly, but still, it's a good start. It's actually pretty awesome. Check out the video in the description below. See the little introduction video of it. And if that's not enough, they've also announced Bluestacks Cloud Connect. Basically what this does, it connects your phone directly to your PC. So basically you can sync your phone, with your computer. So pretty much if you're playing a game on your phone, you could sync it with your computer so you have the same information and data and everything like that. Pretty freaking awesome. All right, rumor alert. Samsung Galaxy 3 phones are coming soon. Yeah, that was 100% fake. I didn't mean to excite you with that. But another rumor news, specs for the Motorola Razr have apparently been leaked. What? Looks like this baby's gonna be packing a 1.2 gigahertz dual core processor, 4.3 inch display, and one gig of lovely, lovely RAM. So who knows if it's true, it's kind of just a rumor that's floating around. We don't even know officially if they're gonna be calling it the Razer. It's been also called the Droid HD and the Motorola Spider. I hope it's not called the Spiders because I'm arachnophobic. Personally, I think they call it the Razer. It's just an obvious choice with a popular flip phone that came out a few years ago. So they should really just capitalize on the name and they'll probably sell a lot of phones. What's a flip phone? All right, let's talk the tweak of the week. All right, there's a lot of uh, different home launchers out there. You got your Launcher Pro, your ADW, your Go Launcher X, which I'm in love with. There's so many to choose from, it's just really kind of difficult to choose one. Well, if you're still having trouble choosing a home launcher, why don't you give the Claystone 3D Home Launcher a try? I actually played around with this home launcher a little bit. Pretty spiffy looking. It's pretty. It ran pretty smoothly. The 3D home screen effect was pretty nice looking. It's not bad. It's not a bad little launcher. Uh, I'd say give it a try if you're having trouble deciding which launcher you want to go with. If you want to check out the video in the description below, check out the full demonstration of the launcher and then go download it. It's free. Who doesn't want to spend a little free on something? I just don't know how I'm going to break it off with Go Launcher X. I'm just kidding, Go Launcher X. I love you. Seriously, I do. All right, guys, that was the top articles of the week. You can find all the articles on androidspin.com. Everything I've talked about today are in links in the description below. Please hit that like, thumbs up button. Show love with a like. We sure would appreciate it. Subscribe to the Android Spin channel. Also subscribe to my other channel, the Film Junkie channel, where I talk about movie news and do film reviews. Follow us on Twitter and Facebook for constant updated Android news. Anyways, guys, thanks for tuning in again. I'm David, your Android Junkie, and this has been the Mandroid Show. One of these days, we're gonna get those little Android guys jumping on trampolines and bikinis. It could happen. Thank you.